Elvis's 1963 Rolls Royce. Experts say Elvis sold the car in the early 70s. It was only recently rediscovered. It's been out of the limelight for a very long time. Recently reappeared. <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. She did not leave a number, but I know she placed a call. Cause my uncle wrote me. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Look at this, huh? Ethan Hall, how you doing? Yeah. Welcome to Lansky's. I don't know if you know this, but we're the clothier to the king. I'm not the king, but I want to dress well, like I, him. Elvis loves shiny stuff. He loves shiny stuff. This jacket he wore on the Ed Sullivan Show. Elvis loved this collar. This is the Speedway jacket. The Tupelo shirt, black and pink, goes together like a stamp on a letter. All right, so what am I wearing? What am I going to meet Dixie in, man? You got to do me right. I didn't really love Elvis until I became a dad, and my daughter was just YouTubing stuff. And she and her friends were YouTubing Love Me Tender. Elvis was like the first boy she had a crush on. I mean, Dixie's gonna like this, right? Yeah. I think she'll like it perfect. If you ever change your mind about leaving, leaving me behind, oh, bring it to me, bring your sweet love. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hello. Right? We're going to be comfortable in here. My name is Dixie Locke. My high school sweetheart was Elvis Presley. And you don't mean that you put his picture up in your locker? We dated for a couple of years, stayed friends for six or seven years. We had talked about getting married. As soon as I graduated from high school, you know, we, we were that close. What do you remember most about your prom? Well, I remember walking in and everybody went crazy because, you know. Because he was already. He was Elvis Presley. Oh, he already was. <laughs> so you were, you were the envy of your peers? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody wanted us to sit at their table. You know I always be your slave till I'm buried, buried in my grave. It was hard for me as his career unfolded. He was gone a lot. I'm still a teenage girl. We had a very serious talk one night. The choice that he made was to pursue his career. Change your mind about leaving, leaving me behind. Thank you for bringing me home. Oh, it's my pleasure. You think your husband's going to be mad? I don't think he'll be mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> People would stop at the fire station and get a picture of him. I mean, they'd say, hey, how in the world, if she dated Elvis, how did she ever end up with your little ugly buddy? <laughs> <laughs> so me and Dixie went all the way through school together. We've been married almost 55 years now. Well, I went in the Navy, and I came home right after her and Elvis broke up. Well, she got stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get stuck. Just a couple weeks ago, I watched... Uh, Training Day. Yeah. When you done with Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a rough movie. 